Hey, good morning. Yeah, we are so close to the studio right around the corner in Curry Mesa. There's a brand new place with a 360 bar and a huge space to enjoy drinks, entertainment, maybe a little March Madness. We're going to show off Hive coming up on Fox 5. Uh, looks very nice. Speaking of food, enjoy dinner, dancing, and karaoke all in one night. Well, Heather Lake is showing us a new hidden gem in Kearney Mesa. Hi, Heather. This place looks so fun. Hey. Okay, yeah, so good morning to both of you. I just want you to sit. I just want, if you get a little break, um, you can just literally like run here from the studio. It's so close um, to our studio. So if people are maybe getting off of work, you don't have to go all the way downtown to enjoy all the entertainment that we have in San Diego. Now you can enjoy it right here in Kearney Mesa. This place is called The Hive. They call it Project Hive, though. So, Jay, you're the general manager here. This space behind us is huge. What What is this like? You said 13 or 14,000 square feet? It's going to be roughly about close to 18,000 square foot. And that's when the whole entire project is finished. So you guys have just opened up the doors for the space, which is, you know, the bar, the restaurant, um, the karaoke rooms. We've got even an arcade. And this is going to expand into a nightclub full on entertainment. That is correct, actually. So tell me a little bit about the project. What have you guys done to make this space so great? So we actually started um, from the very beginning, mm -hmm. uh, we started as a karaoke establishment, mm -hmm. and uh, about four months ago, we decided to actually expand our uh, entire business and into the hive. Mm -hmm. By so, when it comes to the hive, we believe in the aspect of bringing the experience for the customers. Mm -hmm. uh, in what I mean by that is when you look at our when you look at our space, we're talking about the dining, we're talking about the bar experience, we're talking about the arcade, the private room karaoke's. Um, and well, for people who have heard about chorus karaoke, so now basically you're taking chorus karaoke. What was that? Which is just behind us. Don't worry, we'll get there soon enough. Um, and then you're expanding. So now we've got the whole restaurant. I mean, this place is huge. So for people who want to come enjoy March Madness, there's a full cocktail menu. There's a full uh, menu for food. We're gonna get behind the bar, Jay. Thank you so much, or Philip. I'm gonna get behind the bar with Jay over here to show off the cocktails because this is not your average bar. It is a 360 bar that can sit 50 people around here. So you're not gonna show up here and wonder if there is going to be an available seat. Am I right, Jay? Yes, absolutely. So, okay, you are making an old-fashioned, and what are you doing right there? I'm, I'm stirring a cocktail, giving a right balance, right dilution. And a lot of your stuff is homemade juices. It's all fresh squeezed. Um, obviously, that's not going in an old-fashioned. Um, and then there's barrel age um, uh, whiskeys over there, correct? Yes, um, we're doing uh, 15 in this barrel aging program at here, we work with about 20 different barrels. Okay, so we got to go back to the studio. I know you've got some flair to put on that, so I wanted everyone to see because I like fire. Right? Uh, <laughs> why not? We're gonna play with fire all before seven o'clock in the morning. What goes on top here? Uh, we have uh, this fl flaming orange zest that we're gonna put it on fire, mm -hmm. and we're gonna caramelize the cocktail, give it a little extra flavor on it. Okay. I don't want to lose the hair or eyebrows or anything like that, so I'm, I'm just watching what you're doing here. Um, all of this is really exciting. I love it. We are going to show off the menu because voila, they have oysters, a raw bar, all kinds of stuff here. Basically, um, Chris and Christina, if you want something, it's here. If you want a certain cocktail, if you want a certain food right. menu item, they've got it. It nope. is uh, <laughs> no a lot of experiences happening here. And then you can go sing karaoke after you've watched the game of March Madness, March Madness and played an uh, arcade game. Now, you didn't introduce us to so, the guy in the flannel shirt to your left. He might be a little more talkative. Oh, sorry. What's his name? What's your name? I'm Rom. Rob. What's Rom. up, Rob? Rom yeah. with an M. Yes. Rom. Rom with an M. Well, there you go. I like that. Thank you. Rom, what do you do there? It he is looks also like a, a really exciting place. <laughs> little, yeah. yeah. There you go. There's, We're there all you go. waking now up. If you give us a couple hours, right? we'll, we'll I have know. a, totally. a few totally. cocktails and we'll be good to go. No, honestly, though, that place looks <laughs> huge, yes. Heather. Yeah, it is. All right. <laughs> You're not going to. Hey, good morning. I'm hanging out in Kearney Mesa at a place where basically you can play arcade games, you can do karaoke, and there's a bar that sits up to 50 people. We're going to explain Hive coming up on Fox 5. If you want me, babe. All right, if you like singing, if you like dancing, if you like foosball, oh yeah. We're going to have a hot spot for you here in Kearney Mesa. Yeah, Heather Lake is live at Hive to take us inside the new space. Good morning, Heather.
Hey, so uh, Chris and Christina, take a look. We are going to do the test your love machine. So there's an arcade, there's a karaoke bar, there's food, there's all kinds of stuff happening here. It's called the Hive. So if you haven't checked it out, um, it's right here in Kearney Mesa. And basically, if you liked chorus karaoke, oh, we got to pull it back. There we go. If you liked chorus karaoke, um, then you're going to love this place because there's all types of entertainment. Let's see where I rate. The top up there is uh, uncontrollable. Oh. And look at that. Feeling the love this morning. Feeling the love this morning, you guys. Um, so yeah, I have plenty to share with all of you if you want a little bit of love. But this is really cool. So the place is called Hive, and it is only going to expand and get bigger. Right now, about 14,000 square feet. There is plenty of seating for everyone. So if you're into watching UFC fights, maybe March Madness is your thing. They've got all kinds of places um, where you can bring all of your friends, come here, watch your favorite game, uh, enjoy a bite to eat. And let me talk a little bit about their cocktail menu, because they are making all kinds of crack cocktails back here. Um, we've got Rom behind the bar there. Give us a high five. How you doing? Up top. Thanks, Rom. Making some really cool drinks um, all before 8 o'clock in the morning. Just in case you're really thirsty, you can come out here and enjoy a drink. They are going to be opening for brunch. So soft opening is right now, and we are basically showing off. This is a 360-degree bar, too. So over 50 seats um, right here at the really cool bar. They've got barrel aging um, over there. So if you are really into your whiskeys and bourbons, you can try that. Um, um, uh, if you meet this guy, Jay, he's going to be behind the bar as well. Oh, look at that. What was he making over there? Cheers. Cheers. I don't know. Something yummy, for yeah, sure. Something yummy, um, because you've been helping with the cocktail menu as well. Let's walk over to the food, though, because they have some Korean flair to the food, um, but they also have all of your good bar food as well. If you like fried chicken and um, your chicken wings and your French fries, they've got that. But then the guy who's the general manager behind here, Philip, is taking me through. So you guys are going to have a lot of everything. I was looking at the menu. Not only is there bolognese, but then you've got oysters and fried chicken and French fries. So really anything that your mind can imagine, you can have it. Correct. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what's in front of us right here. Yeah, so let's, let's start with the first piece right here, actually. Um, we're actually well, really well known when it comes to our fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to our fried chicken, we actually have three different types. Okay. So the first one that we're looking at, we actually brine our chicken for about 72 hours. Mm -hmm. um, so when it comes to the batter, when it comes to the brining process and the, the sauces, mm -hmm. um, we actually make everything in-house. Great. Wonderful. Okay, this is something that I did. I thought it was just an omelet, but this is actually a very traditional Korean dish that people would um, enjoy right here. A lot of places in Korean Mesa. Correct. Um, what, what we're looking at here is actually called bibimbap salad. Um, the, the way we actually make it is all organic. Um, we, when it comes to the... What's inside? So bibimbap actually in translation means uh, mixed rice. Oh. And uh, in terms of the ingredients, we actually, it's all seasonal. Does so. anyone have a knife back there? I really want to cut through this and see what's on the inside. Does anybody have a knife? Yeah? Can I have one really quick? I just want to show everyone at home what's inside. Um, and before we go, Christina. Christina, are you there back in the studio? Do you know what this is? Oysters? Wait, wait, I can't well, see. Hold on, what? she's going to try to answer. Don't tell her yet. OK, hold on, hold on. Do you know what it's this is? It's a katsu is? dish. Katsu? It's either chicken or tonkatsu. Is it katsu? It's, yes. Uh, yes, it's pork cutlet, actually. So we tonkatsu. We call it uh, the king katsu. King katsu. Oh, I was saying it looks like um, it looks like a very big version of um, fish and chips. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> but no. <laughs> but yeah. You if you are hungry, this is going to be the place to go. They didn't f find me a knife, but eventually we will cut into that. Um, well, how do you fingers. say that one? Oh, you just go ahead and grab one, that actually. fried yeah, chicken. Yeah, egg one. Oh, we call it, it's called bibimbap salad. Bibimbap. 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 I like saying that. Bibimbap. Oh, yay. I wanted to show everyone at home what was inside. There you go. There you Thank go. Thank you. There it is. Well, they have nice cutlery there. Oh, it's rice. <laughs> okay. It's just rice, rice and, and egg. egg. Rice omelet. Yes. Well, take a big old bite Yum. with your hand. We want to know how cool. it tastes, Heather. Get in See, there. See, look, hold on. Heather is a, Oh, she's, okay. She's on a Sorry. Bench. Well, I was able to get a, a knife. That took a little while. I don't know how long it will take me to get a fork. Is there <laughs> just, a fork? Just use your What if I use the oyster fork? There we go. Oh, there there a, we go. I feel like the little mermaid all of a sudden trying to figure this out. <laughs> oh, Heather. Does this go in my hair? No, I'm just kidding. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a, literally rice. Do you have a fork? All right. It's a ding They have a fork. Hold on. I thought you'd just rip into it with your hands. 
It's good. Yeah. Put my hands, just pick it up like a burrito. I would. Yes. It's good. I'd go it's all it. yummy. <laughs> this is what smells really good right here. The food looks fantastic. Here. That chicken looks amazing. The chicken and fries. All right, we'll check back because we're all getting so hungry. And good morning. I'm Heather Lake. Karaoke at Arcade, a bar and complete menu. It's all in Kearney Mesa, and we're going to show off the new place called Hive. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we are hanging out at a brand new karaoke bar. We are showing off the inside, the party. It's called Hive. We are going to show you what <laughs> you can do here all on the morning show. That's coming up. Uh, enjoy dinner, dancing, and karaoke all in one night. Heather Lake is showing us a new hidden gem in Kearney Mesa. Hi, Heather. Hey, good morning, guys. So the place is called Hive. If you haven't checked it out, it's because, well, they literally just opened here in Kearney Mesa. If you liked Chorus Karaoke Bar, well, now it is much bigger, much more lively, much more fun. I want to take you inside to the karaoke fun. Yeah! Jay's ready to party. Okay, so we've got a little party happening this morning. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to ah, we got to talk about this place first of all because it's brand new. Soft opening, their grand opening is April 13th. So if you want to come check it out, they have a big, big area. We're talking 13,000 square feet of fun, um, a bar area, places to watch March Madness. But this is where the karaoke happens. So basically, you rent this place out for an hour and you have a good time with all your friends. How does it work? Yeah, you just pay um, how much ever the price is for um, an hour, and then you can always extend it more, and you just have a fun. You, it's a private karaoke, so you don't have to um, dance in front of the, the uh, people that you don't know. You can just dance with your own um, people. That's the whole you can pretend the you're in your living room by yourself, um, but with your closest friends. You don't have to worry about having a good voice, right? Exactly. It's all about just having a fun. It's not about how good you are. It's about how entertaining you are. Yeah. I like that. So it starts at $40 an hour. A room like this can fit about 14 people. <laughs> You guys are making really fun craft cocktails here as well. We're eventually gonna walk, gonna walk out there and show everybody um, the big part of the bar in that area. You guys are showing UFC fights here. Um, but the cool thing is that not only is it karaoke, it's an arcade. It's gonna be a nightclub. People get in here and they start dancing later at night. Exactly. Um, we, we have everything here pretty much. Uh, that's why we call it a mega restaurant. We have a restaurant, we have a bar, we have an arcade game, we have a private karaoke, we have everything in here. We have DJs at Thursday through Friday, Saturday. Oh, so. Okay. Oh, DJ, what song is next? Do you know? Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Oh. Are you guys ready to do some Gangnam Style with us this morning? Jay. Do it. Jay. <laughs> I think I should just move out of the way. I'm going to let Jay take it away. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, 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 Yo, oh, wow. wow. <gasps> Does he know all the lyrics? It doesn't matter if he knows the lyrics, he knows the dance moves. That's more important. Look at this guy. Now, he's the owner. No, no, no. He's one of the bartenders. Oh, he is. See? Do you remember the Gangnam sound? Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I can't do the flip, though. <laughs> Okay, look, hold on. Heather, as you guys are dancing and singing, um, oh. Yeah, you know why he's on his knees? It's because their food's so good. And it they is were good. so kind enough. He actually knows the words, I think. I can't hear you at all. Oh, she I can't hear it. It's loud in there, questions. I'm sure. Fried chicken. This is the Korean fried chicken that they mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. And then. Regular fried chicken that they sent over, and they sent over fries. <gasps> fries and a hamburger. Why are you doing this to me? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you love